Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today I am reviewing the AdMotor M5600, also known as the Wild Tan. Let's take this fat tire bike for a ride. The AdMotor Wild Tan is one of those massive, exhilarating types of e-bikes. It doesn't shy away from anything, with its big tires, bigger battery, and even bigger motor. Let's jump right into the specs so that you see what I mean. Powering this behemoth of an electric bike is a 1000 watt rated mid-drive motor. The motor is a Bafang BBSHD, a tried and true high power e-bike motor known to put out as much as 1500 peak watts in the right conditions. It can climb just about anything and it launches with a satisfying dirt bike style oomph. It can get you right up to speeds of 28 miles per hour, which feels fast on the road and even faster off-road and the 4.5 inch oversized tires mean you never have to choose between the two. You can jump back and forth between the road and the dirt or trail whenever you feel like. Those big tires turn the bike into something of an overlanding vehicle, no trail even necessary. This type of riding of course burns up the battery quickly, and so the Wild Tan is fortunately specced with a large 48 volt and 17.5 amp hour battery that packs in 840 watt hours of capacity. Now AdMotor says you can get up to 65 miles of range, but that's of course sticking to the lowest pedal assist level. When you spend a lot of time making use of that right side half twist throttle, expect less range. But anyway you slice it, 840 watt hours is a lot of capacity certainly more than average these days. If you do stick to pedal assist, you'll find a nice pedal drive system that includes a 9-speed Shimano Alivio transmission, which is another above average part here. Instead of specking a cheap Altus or Tourney setup, AdMotor climbed higher up the Shimano hierarchy to put some better quality parts on the bike. The same goes for the hydraulic disc brakes, the air suspension fork with adjustable pressure preload and lockout, and the through axle on the front wheel instead of a cheap skewer axle. Though I'm not sure what the nut orgy going on here in the rear axle is all about. But speaking of axles rated for higher loads, this isn't just an off the beaten path exploring e-bike. It's also designed to carry a significant load. In addition to that big ol' utility rack that turns this into a heavy hauling e-bike, the bike is sturdier than most direct-to-consumer fat tire e-bikes, with a weight rating of up to 350 pounds, meaning it's built to carry even heavier riders. Like any e-bike, it of course has its pros and cons. The pros column is quite long and includes everything from that powerful mid-drive motor and the long list of high-end parts on the bike that helps set it apart from cheaper made fat tire e-bikes that might not withstand the test of time. Oh, and that big battery too. But there's a cons column also for sure. The bike is absolutely massive. It says it's designed for riders 5'10 to 6'5. I'm actually 5'7 and I manage just fine on it, but it's not a small bike. It also wouldn't take up a small portion of your garage either. The other big downside is that with the large size and bulk comes a reduced nimbleness. It's not the most responsive on the single track, but it can of course still do that type of riding. Just check your speed since quick turns take a bit more planning on a bike this big. And lastly, it ain't cheap. Not even close, at $35.99. That's a lot of cash for an e-bike. Then again, you're getting higher tier components, a massive mid-drive motor, and a big battery to boot. Still though, this is quite an investment, so you better be really into off-road riding fat tire e-bikes to be prepared to lay down cash like that. Assuming you are though, I can all but guarantee you that one ride is all it takes on the wild tan to put a massive smile on your face. This bike is the physical embodiment of a go-anywhere, can-do attitude. It's more than most people need, which makes it exactly what many people want. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the AdMotor M5600 Wild Tan. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.